For 2021, Hapa has announced an aircraft model of an Airbus A33900neo of Garuda Indonesia. Right in front of us we have the spiritual predecessor of that model, but should we have saved our money and waited for the new model to arrive, or is this an aircraft model for one's collection? We'll find out right after the drop. With that, hello and welcome to a new episode of Review, where we today will take a closer look at an Airbus A330-200 of Garuda Indonesia. At the front of the box we have the cutout, so we can get a glimpse of the aircraft model inside, and at the bottom of the box we have the Garuda Indonesia branding. Then on the back side of the box we have a lovely image of an aircraft, but I can already say now this is not the aircraft that is inside the box, and also the registration code that has been specified on the box is not correct. What is correct, however, are the original dimensions and that it is a limited edition with only 1200 pieces ever made. And here she is, the Airbus A330-200 of Garuda Indonesia in their current livery. I need to take a quick step back to the box because the registration code that was mentioned there is Papa Kilo Golf Papa Juliet. And that is also the aircraft that is represented on the image. The model, however, has the registration code Papa Kilo Golf Papa Kilo. That's important to know because it changes one specific detail on the aircraft model. But now that we have sorted out the mess of Herpa, let's take a deep breath and let's start off with the tail section of the aircraft where we on the vertical stabilizer have the Garuda Indonesia branding. On the fuselage we then have the full registration code of the aircraft and at the very tail of the aircraft we then also have a little bit of detailing around the APU exhaust. At the front of the aircraft and across the fuselage we then have the Garuda Indonesia branding, we have the flag of Indonesia and underneath that we have the Visit Indonesia 2009 logo or sticker. And the important difference between the aircraft we have here in front of us and the aircraft that Herpa actually said it would have in the box is that the logo in this aircraft is in the front with the aircraft with the Juliet registration it would have been in the back. Then we can also take a quick look at the cockpit section but it will only be a quick look because there's really not that much to see here other than the cockpit windows and the window wipers that have been printed on but that's all the detailing that Herpa apparently thought would be necessary for this model. The same goes for the engine cells they have been kept in all white just as most of the fuselage that do have the silver edge but that's all for printed detailing a little bit disappointing what is quite all right however i think is the physical detailing of the engines i think that does look rather nice then we can move on to the wings and take a closer look at those starting off here with the top side where we have the different flaps slats and spoilers carved out very nicely we do also have some different shades of gray for additional detailing although i would still have liked to have some more printed details here the underside of the wings i think is all right here we also find the full registration code of the aircraft my personal highlight however on the wings are of course the winglets which i think look really gorgeous with the garuda indonesia branding the landing gear is the standard landing gear that Harpa uses for all their A330s and in this case it's really not a bad thing because the quality of that is actually quite decent. The only thing I'm of course missing here are some printed details. They would really have helped the model out quite a bit. And then last but not least we also have the doors to the cargo compartments printed on here in the back side of the aircraft and here at the front of the aircraft. So there we have it, the Airbus A330-200 in the current livery of Garuda Indonesia with the Visit Indonesia 2009 sticker. And what can we say about this aircraft model? Overall, I would say it is actually a quite good aircraft model from Harpa Wings. The model itself was released from Harpa back in 2010, and it has the standard detailing that you would expect from Harpa around that time. And the new model that has been announced I mean, there is no guarantee that it will have any more detailing, given that Harper has kind of forgotten how to add details to their models. So this could be a good alternative if you don't want to wait for the new model to arrive. Ultimately, I would say it's a decent model, and yes, it could be one for one's collection. My biggest issue is actually more with the box and the wrong registration code they added there, rather than with the model itself. So with that conclusion, it is time to end today's video. And if you have enjoyed it, then feel free to leave a like. That would be very much appreciate it and of course if you are new around here why not hit subscribe that would be absolutely awesome with that i'd like to say thank you so much for watching hope to see you soon again i'm checking out and bye